Hello guys, I'm Eddie V. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos that I post every single day, guys. Today we're working on another yet part on assembling my Volvo. Well, guys, <clears throat> install the black trim around here. The proper way is to grab this cardboard piece and actually wrap it with the round, but I just painted the black, screwed one screw here, one screw on the other, and just put staples. Now, if it looks ugly, all I need to do is paint the staples black, and I'd be good to go, but other than that, it doesn't look bad at all. It sits on there. So as you can see, we got those done. Now, guys, it's just time to install the switches for the radio, plug in the radio. That's what I'm gonna be working on. All right, guys, so I mounted this on a switch. So all I gotta do is flip the switch on and radio turns on. Perfect. Well, guys, I did a sound test and all the speakers work. So that's really, really, and I mean, really good news. So now I also connected the microphone for talking on the phone through there. Not sure if it's gonna work, but it's there. Once I'm done, I'm going to clip. Attempt to install the RPM gauge next. All right, guys. So there's the A-pillar that it goes back on. So I screwed on the bracket. It looks kind of high mount. I wish I could put it here, but this thing is in the way, and I can't flip this around. So, so maybe I get a different RPM gauge. I'm going to go ahead and keep it like that. I can still see the RPMs. Looks kind of weird or funny to look up that high, but hey, we got an RPM gauge, and it's out of the way, and we will be just all right. Okay, so now I ran the black wire to the ground. Where'd it go? Right there. Time for the next wire. All right, and I connected the red to the battery, the positive. This right here, guys, is gonna be for my switch to the RPM gauge. Hopefully it works out well as well. All right, guys, so I ran the green wire to the negative side of the coil. If you take a look at uh, guys, so looks like according to Facebook forums, this is where I would need to plug it in and it runs down to there. So that should be the negative side. It's a black wire, should be the negative side. Um, you know, I think we'll be good to go. Now they did recommend they put in a 1K resistor in between here, but I'm not gonna do that. If when I fire up and it reads normal and not jumpy, then I won't need a resistor. We'll see how well it does. Okay, guys. Some excess wires, but switch installed. Time to go. Now, connect this red wire that I ran through to the fuse, uh, fuse relay. And that should be good to go. Fingers crossed it works. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this cap on, but time to see if this, if it's legit, like if it works. Moment of truth, guys, firing her up. Oh, there you go. It lights up, it works. Okay, guys, so my switch actually broke and I'm gonna have to redo it. I'm gonna go to AutoZone and get what I need when they open up. So just for the name of science to see if everything works, I hot wired it and let's see if it's gonna work. So guys, by the looks of it, I have either 
something messed up. I'm going to take it to the mechanic once I have time. And um, basically, either the faulty RPM gauge or I didn't wire it up right. I thought I wired it up right exactly by the instructions. So I will have to take it to the mechanic to see why it's not working. And possibly, and I mean possibly, need a different RPM ga uh, gauge to buy. But that's, that's very very minor um i can use it in reverse so guys when it was working it was working around there that was its maximum rpm so um we'll see if i could use it that way that's fine uh if not then not i'm possibly gonna need to uh buy a different rpm gauge because i don't know if you're it's supposed to but this thing is super hot in the back i don't know if it's supposed to be like that so guys this was a pain in the butt to put back together in the the sun visor i mean it works and everything but as you can see there's no hole there so you gotta find it with your finger and then finding where the screws go on is also pain in the butt. But I got it on there. So now time to do the other side. Well, guys. So, added the mirror in. Rear view mirror. And added the final uh, sun visor. Last thing to do is literally door jams. Uh, gotta take out that wood in the back, cover it, and um, leather. And I'm gonna put the carpet in the tr uh, trunk here, attach the license plate light. Uh, yeah, so got a whole bunch, a little bit more yet to go. Well guys, we are back, and now we're working on the RPM switch, RPM gauge switch, and I have installed it. As you can see, it works, I'm gonna show you. So, nothing to worry about there. I'll connect it. If the RPM gauge doesn't work properly, um, we'll have to take it to a mechanic to see what I hooked up wrong. Other than that, it's installed and ready to go. Now guys, it's time to work on these suckers and putting leather over it. Okay guys, as you can see, the back is put into place. Okay guys, so did that. Now all I gotta do is, from the old bumper, take off the license plate lights and convert them here and, you know, get them hooked up. Well, the license plate lights work. Now time to do, put the mat, uh, a floor mat in the trunk. There you have it guys, the trunk is now in place. Now I just need to put a license plate, I'm good to go. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys quickly here. I also attached this on double tape, it's not going anywhere. That's powered there. So now, guys, we're ready to go. So I mean, that's it for this video. So, on the next video guys, I'm gonna be attaching the trim here. I can't do that right now here because I don't have a caulk or a caulk gun. And I'm gonna be painting my wheels and putting white wall tires on. And that's about it guys. Other than that, I'm Eddie V signing off. Not canceled. Hey guys, I'm Eddie V. <laughs>